Okay, well it looks to me very much like this tool is going to work. Let's see. This is going to hold the camera well, but I can try. Looks like that might give a good shot. Um, okay. What I'm doing right now is I'm pulling out the ball joint. I've already released the control arm. The right front lower control arm is released. And I'm going to use this tool to separate, hopefully to separate the ball joint the ball joint from the um, steering knuckle. So the first thing I'm in, and this is actually a, a four-piece tool. It's got this, these two, and this. Um, I'll make up one tool. And I got them from Harbor Freight. And I think it's going to work. I think it's going to make this job a whole lot easier than the other side was. Because I did the other side without this tool. And it really had me nervous that I might not be able to finish the job. That should be far enough. Okay. So then I'm going to put this in there. Make sure that it's hitting the ball joint. Should be hitting the ball joint there. Okay. Then I'm going to put this little fulcrum like that, and then this bolt is going to apply pressure. Now the pressure by itself isn't what will dr drive the ball joint out. Uh, I'll need to wrap on the. I'll need to tap on the. Why are we not going in? There we go. So I'm going to apply reasonable amount of pressure, not too light, not too... I'm not trying to use just the screw pressure to release the ball joint. What I'm trying to do is apply pressure and with the pressure constantly applied, see I've applied some pressure now and then I'm going to take... Oops, If I had a brass bar with me, I'd use a brass bar, but I don't have one with me. So I'm going to use this to set up a vibration in there, and then the constant pressure should enable, should push the, um, as, as the steering knuckle vibrates, um, the constant pressure here should push the ball joint downwards slightly. And I might have to tighten a couple of times. Tightened a little bit more. Set up a vibration. Okay. Tighten a little bit more. Oops, you know what I didn't do that I should have done? I haven't sprayed penetrating oil yet.
I'm pushing on the knuckle instead of pushing on the flashlight. No, I'm definitely pushing on the ball joint. So I'm doing good there. Not going as smoothly as I'd hoped. Now I'm going to try hitting from the other side.
try something different. I don't want to break this tool. Apply pressure. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply pressure and I'm going to hit it with a um, chisel. Looks like I can get both, both tactics into place. So first I'm going to apply the pressure and then instead of just relying on vibration, I'm going to actually try to slightly separate the part of the knuckle that the pinch bolt normally pinches. So let's get some of this spray in there. Okay, good penetrating oil. Good pressure. Chisel. Where is my chisel?
We are. It's moved. Okay. It's almost out. We are definitely on the right track here. This is the right combination to use. It's actually moving without me hitting the chisel now. Oh, this is beautiful. I hope it falls before my camera runs out of its 20 minute time limit. out and I didn't have to separate I didn't have to separate this like I did the last time that's beautiful as you can see with this other control arm I actually had to cut the boot so that I could separate the ball joint from the arm and then I could grab the um, ball joint with a pair of channel with a pair of uh, vice grips and wiggled it free but I'd really rather not do that this is a much better way to do it with this with this tool with this combination of tools is a much much better way of doing this project So much better. Oh man, that was awesome. And compare this to how how much I fought with the other control arm. This was a breeze. Alrighty. That should be a huge help to anyone who's undertaking this project. Bye.